my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my September TBR. <laughs> season spectacular and that starts two weeks into September and this video is first off going to be going up late because it is being filmed a little later than I wanted but that also just doesn't leave a lot of time for this TBR and I still picked out like six books that I want to read so we'll see how this goes <laughs> so let's just dive right into it the first book that I'm going to read in September I this series has been on my TBR for quite a while, um, so I'm just going to put the second book on it since I've read the first. That is Lily Quinn and the Grimalkin by Danny Swanson. I got this book from the author at a convention. I bought the whole series. I, the first one was alright. I know that the series is going to get better, and it's not that long. I just haven't picked it up yet. I don't know why. But I am, I am intrigued by the idea and the premise. I think the underlying plot here is fairly good and is intriguing enough to keep me wanting to read it. So this is the second book. I'm going to read it. I'm going to stop talking about it now. Another book that's been on my TBR for so long. So I have been saying I was going to read this last year. I put it on quite a few of my TBRs last year for spooky season. But... We'll see. Hopefully I read it this year. It's For the Briar Sleep by Emma Baven. We'll see. It's very much a book that is great for spooky season. You've got a haunted wardrobe and a sister who just feels like she's going insane because no one else believes her. But, you know, all the spooky vibes here, so it makes sense to read it. I started, I did start reading it last year and I was intrigued, I just ended up putting it down for another book, I know, um, and then I just never picked it back up again, so hopefully I can pick it up again this year right where I left off and actually finish it. I also plan on reading Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin, this book just came out, I am so excited, I read her other book The Nature of Witches and I absolutely loved it, it's a very beautiful seasonal book and so this takes place in the same uh, magic system but it follows completely different characters and its own plot so you don't have to read The Nature of Witches in order to read this um, but I read it so I am really like I said looking forward to reading this uh, I just I loved her last book so much and I love her message about needing to protect the environment but I also love how she writes the magic in here so it just seems like a really good book to pick up in September, especially right after getting it. Moving on, I really want to read The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna. This is the second book in this trilogy. The first one is called The Gilded Ones. I very much enjoyed it last summer when I read it, so this also came out this past summer. I haven't quite gotten around to it, but I want to put it on my TBR to get to it soon. I, I loved the first book, rated it 5 stars, so... I should pick up the second book. Hopefully I'll do it in September. We'll see. The next book, I can't believe I'm putting this on a TBR um, because I was actually filming a vlog reading all of these books and I read all of them except for this last one here. So I need to read this one as soon as possible so I can finish that vlog. And so in order to do that, I'm putting it on my TBR. So I hopefully finish reading it. I have started it. That is what once was mine. This is by Liz Redwell. It's one of the Disney Twisted Tales. It's the most recent Twisted Tales release. I've read all the other Disney Twisted Tales. I have a vlog of all my thoughts, and so I just want to finish reading this one, give my thoughts, rank them in order of how I enjoyed them. Not, and just not be done with it, but be done with it. So I'm putting it on a TBR, letting you know that that vlog is almost complete, and I want to get this done. <laughs> And then I have one more book that I don't physically have here. It, it is an audiobook, and that is Master of Iron by Trisha Levenseller. This is the second book in her duology. The first one was called Blade of Secrets. The first one was called Blade of Secrets. I have been loving a lot of Trisha Levenseller's writing, and I gave book, 
Blade of Secrets 5 out of 5 stars. It left on such a cliffhanger. I am so excited. So when it came out this past summer, I knew I needed to get to it as soon as possible. And they have an audiobook for it, so I'm getting that from the library. And I am reading it. So those are the six books I want to read this September. I wanted to make this video short, to the point, so that I can spend the rest of the day actually reading. Hopefully these books, we'll see. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below what you want to read this September, if there are any books that you have been wanting to get to, or any recent releases, because a lot of these are fairly recent releases, like they came out in the summer, so I will be catching up on those. I also have bookish social media linked down below in the description so you can follow me and see what I'm thinking of these books as I am hopefully reading them this month. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!